Action. Action. Yes, sir. Check, check, check. One, two. What's good? How I look? How I sound? Sounds good. 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 What's going on, people? This is DJ Paradigm. Welcome back to A Dime's Worth. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers on my YouTube page. Appreciate everybody following me on Facebook, on the group app. Uh, excuse me. Uh, on the group. On the Facebook group. Uh, this week's episode is sponsored by Kombucha. If you've never had this, it's pretty healthy for you. It tastes all right too. But anyways, let's get to it, man. Once again, um, I hope y'all doing okay. I hope y'all enjoyed the last episode as far as getting comfortable on the microphone and, and taking those tips and really just applying them to your everyday DJ skill set. So this episode, well, just to break down how I came about this episode, I was actually at a wedding and I wasn't DJing, but I was actually attending the wedding as a DJ. Of course, you know, we're listening to other DJs. Um, I noticed the DJ wasn't prepared for how the ceremony should go. So that's how this episode came about. Tune in right now. I'm going to break down how to set up your Serato crate for a ceremony and really just go through that and then stick around until the end and I'm gonna give you all two or three tips on what you need to do to make sure you guys have a perfect ceremony for the next wedding you do. Peace. All right, so welcome back y'all. I'm gonna go through how I set up to create a perfect ceremony for your wedding. So the next time you guys show up, you know, uh, you're not having to fumble, oh, where's the song? I did put it in this crate. I can't find it. It's not there. It's not labeled correctly. I'm going to show y'all how to label it correctly in the order that it needs to be in that your wedding for the ceremony for the bride and groom is going to go flawless. So let's go through that. We're going to go through my Serato and I'm going to set up the crate step by step just so you guys can see what I'm doing and really just learn from there to create a perfect ceremony. All right. So right now what I'm doing is I just opened up my Serato and I'm going to create a new crate and I'm just gonna call it Ceremony and I'm gonna name it Ceremony Jones Wedding. Something real easy. So what I know for a fact is typically there are gonna be four songs that you need. The recessional music, you play whatever, whatever mix, whatever they ask for, but the four songs that you're definitely gonna need are the songs that the parents are walking out to, number two, the songs that the officiant and the groom are walking out to, number three would be the bridal party is going to walk out to, and then for the final song, well, the fourth song is the bride. So the bride will be walking out to a certain song as well, and then, of course, the recessional song, the song that they will be exiting to. So let's go through that. So I just set up Ceremony Jones Wedding and just to keep it simple and, and to make it easy, I just set up a crate already that has four or five songs and I'm just gonna drop all these songs. Well, let's see here, one, two, three, four songs and then, excuse me, the fourth song into the Ceremony Jones crate. So what I do is I know, okay, these are the songs that they wanted. They wanted Drake Laugh, Now Cry Later. Uh, the Bride Wants to Walk Out to uh, Snow Allegra, I Want You Around. And then maybe the, they want to keep it upbeat. So the parents wanted to walk out to Frankie Beverly and Mays. And then for the ending, they wanted to play something upbeat as well. So the Faith Evans. So, I dropped them all into a brand new crate and I go to this corner and I click and what I want to erase is anything else that's up there that you don't really need. So plays, you don't really need that. So I deleted that and you want to click on comments which is also in that top right corner right here. You click on that 
make sure you highlight comments so comments will show up and then you just want to drag comments over to the front um, even in front of BPM if you like or beside BPM you really don't even need BPM to be honest so we can delete BPM for your ceremony so comment just comes up right after the number of columns so now you have comments really what I do is in the comments I know okay so the parents want to walk out first so I double click comment I put one parents walk out cool that's done um, I know that next after that is going to be the officiant and the groom so I'm going to find laugh now cry later label that two efficient groom oh, my bad. groom and then same thing right after that of course oh I didn't pick an we need a song for the bridal party let's just say Alicia Keys never felt this way okay cool so we'll drop that in the ceremony Jones wedding crate and we'll say the bridal party is gonna walk out to Alicia Keys so under the comment you would write three bridal party then after that of course it is your bride's entrance so one thing you always want to remember is with the bride's entrance you want to make sure the song is crisp clear you want to know where the bride is you want to know how far she's going to be walking you want to know when she gets down to the altar or where they're going to stand to say the I do's that you just fade the music out real slowly not super abrupt so just kind of bring it down in volume until the volumes all all the way completely gone so now we're gonna label it for bridal entrance and then the processional song is going to be the faith Evans song so we're gonna name that five and I'm just gonna write ending just to keep it simple so what you want to do is you want to go back up to comment hit comment and then what it's going to do is it's going to organize it by one two three four and five so when that happens all you really have to do is just go down the line there's no oh i'm having to find this in the crate or oh, i can't find it or oh, i gotta set it up none of that it's all already set up so once you're already set up with that you're really just good to go so now that you got your songs all in order, you know the steps of the timeline, the run of show, the itinerary that you're gonna have, you know what songs to play. Let's go ahead and go through and make sure that you understand, okay, I need to set these songs up to run on the queue. So um, before I let go, it's super easy. You know that it's going to drop on that but there's gonna be some songs that you know they're not gonna start immediately so you need to go ahead and set your cues up just so when you play the song and it's not set up to when the song drops you don't have people just looking around you don't want that if you act were to happen already it's just gonna set off a tone that okay the DJ has no idea what he's doing so say for instance right in here on laugh now cry later it's got the intro the 8 16 bar intro whatever whatnot you kind of just don't want that I mean it's cool if they want that but sometimes you might want to ask so you set it up to drop right where Drake comes in so everybody knows hey you know what what song is this they already know okay you know the groom and the officiant are coming out to this Drake song they're excited they're happy they don't have to figure out what song this is so you know that those two things help getting your cues all set up making sure okay you know where the song is gonna drop in and also a big big thing about setting up your cues is say for instance they're running late when they're running late all you have to do is just hit the loop again and boom you're back to the original part of the song nobody notices it just starts over or the beat starts over and it starts over on beat so those things definitely help when setting up um, and especially the song for the ending making sure hey you know what 
I need to know when to play this. And typically you play this song when they're walking out. So after they kiss, they turn around, the officiant says, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. They turn around, boom. The officiant says, please make some noise for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Everybody starts clapping. So as soon as the clapping starts, maybe about five seconds in, you start the song. You start the song immediately, just so everybody already has that excitement. They get to clapping. And even if nobody claps, you're in the back. You start clapping. Once you start clapping, everybody else is going to clap. So, of course, everybody's walking out. Of course, it'll be the bride and groom first. The bridal party second. The parents probably third. And then right after that, you can fade down the music. So, stay tuned. Right after this, I'm going to give you three tips that are definitely going to help to make sure the final ending of the ceremony is perfect. Sipping the kombucha. We're back. So. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, everybody has already left. The only people that are up there are the efficient and the guests. They're still sitting down. So the guests are just definitely going to be looking around and wondering what to do next. These tips are definitely going to help to give them some direction and also kind of just take the focus off you and let them know what's going to happen after the ceremony. So the three tips. Once you talk to the efficient, because you definitely have to mic, mic the efficient and we'll go through all that later as far as the equipment to use for the ceremony. Three things that I always tell the efficient. One, speak loud and clear so even before after you mic them and, and they're ready to go let them know hey speak loud and clear two let the efficient know that the efficient will be muted until they actually turn around and are face to face with the guests so just make sure they're muted that's a huge tip you don't want them to be talking in the back and number three tell the efficient where the guests need to go right after the ceremony. So wherever cocktail hour is taking place, tell the efficient, hey, could you let the guests know cocktail hour will be taking place over in the front of the venue or behind the venue where the bar is. Wherever cocktail hour is taking place, make sure you let the efficient know that. Once you let the efficient know that, you're good. You're out of the clear. You just had the perfect ceremony. Everything has went well. You played the songs right when you needed to play them. You ended the songs right when you needed to play them. You made a good relationship with the planner, the coordinator, and the bride and groom are super happy. Then even after that, you've already told the efficient what to say. Boom. The guests know where to go. Cocktail hour started. You're out of there. You're getting ready for the reception. Boom. So you just had the perfect ceremony awesome stay tuned for the next episode i'm going to go into the equipment you're going to need just to have a great basic ceremony we'll go over the speakers what type of microphones i use what type of mixer i use and things that are really going to help you to just create and perform a perfect ceremony with the steps i just gave you i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any comments please leave the comments below please like and subscribe Thank you for tuning into A Dime's Worth. I am DJ Paradigm. Peace.